Call sheets are one of the most essential documents in filmmaking. They're laid out to explain all essential information about a film shoot. And you will likely need to read one or even create your own if you'd like to work in the film industry. Today, I will break down how to read and how to create your very own call sheet. In this video, I will give you examples of call sheets that we use on our music video and commercial productions. By the end of this video, you will have all the tools and information you need to create your own call sheet. Before we get started, just remember to smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. First, let's break down the components of a call sheet. Typically, you will have the following information. Crew call time, crew contact info, location date, shoot date, the nearest hospital, the weather for that shoot date, the sunrise and sunset times of that day, and a map to set. Typically, the film industry will run on military time. So for example, 800 on a call sheet mean 8 a.m. If lunch is at 1300, that means 1 p.m. It's 1300 because that is the 13th hour of the day. So remember to pay attention to the time you're reading. I remember when I first started reading call sheets, these military times would mess me up. So remember to double check what you're reading. Another thing to pay attention to when you're reading call times is the difference between crew call and individual call time. Crew call is the time when the majority of the crew will arrive their individual call times will be different. So for example, a locations person will usually be the first to show up on set. So their time will be earlier than everyone else's. Makeup artists, for example, will typically show up around the same time an artist or an actor will show up. So their call times might be different as well. So always remember to check if you were given a specific time. The crew info section is where you see all the crew's information, such as their phone numbers. For confidentiality reasons, typically you won't see actor's phone numbers or director's phone numbers on a call sheet. For example, if you're on set with Brad Pitt, the crew doesn't need to know his contact info. Actually, in many cases with a high profile actor, you wouldn't even see their name on the call sheet. Typically, you would see their character's name or their manager's contact info. In the description, I've given you a link to a free call sheet template that we use for our music video and commercial productions. Just create a copy of the document on Google Drive and you'll be able to edit it yourself. Now if you want to keep things even more simple, you can head over to simplecallsheets.com. There you will find a template to a free call sheet which you can simply fill out directly on their website. It's actually really neat, I just found out about this website. No login or anything like that required. All right, so let's get started with filling out this call sheet. All right, so this is simplecallsheet.com. It's by SetScouter. SetScouter is basically like a website where you find locations for your films and commercials. Uh, I think they have, an, they have an office in Toronto and they're also located in a few other cities. Um, so thank you to them for making this really easy template. Um, so yeah, it's a really simple template like it's called um, basically you just fill it all in all the information So first off you can put your logo I Put the loss and nostalgia logo there so you can put whatever your company logo is uh, Start with production title. So whatever the name of your production is so for example Since this is on my mind <laughs> Great great song by the way Let's do Drake to see slide <laughs> as our title over here on the left. You would put your company information. So lost in nostalgia incorporated, you put your address, whatever your address is, of course your website website uh, you know let's actually put the real website here dot lost and cool and then a phone number dope here you put your top roles so the producer the director and possibly either the pm or the production manager they're called or you could put the assistant director. So let's just do the producer. And I'm not gonna fill out the full call sheet because you kind of get the point. A lot of the prompts are already kind of filled in as it is, but I'm just doing it just for the sake of the, t of the tutorial. Um, so 
cool. And then you put the director. Uh, they put Kyle Cameron, which is James Cameron's weird brother. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> so whatever the phone number is, phone number. Cool. <laughs> Moving on. So once you do that, uh, you go over to the left side, or sorry, right side, and it's where you fill in the times. So you can fill in the breakfast. So let's say keeping it to military time. This uh, template has regular time, uh, not military time. I know I said traditionally in the film industry they use military time. When you get a film, when sorry, when you get a call sheet from a production company, like a bigger one, they're usually going to do, especially in the union, they're definitely going to put military time on the call sheet. So that's why I'm trying to educate you guys that way. But I mean, for your own personal call sheet, it's up to you, really. You can put uh, the regular type of time as well. Um, so 800 for breakfast, cool. Lunch is 1300. Sunrise uh 750 and then sunset like 20 or something like that 2000 um weather cool you put the weather so say it's 25 degrees celsius uh chance let's just say like yeah there's a 50 percent uh chance of rain cool and then the nearest hospital sunnybrook hospital in Toronto okay go to the middle here this is the actual crew call time that I mentioned so let's say it's uh, if breakfast is 800 let's say call time crew call time is 700 okay so 7 a.m. over here you can do basically notes so yeah like street parking available you can put notes such as uh, for wardrobe notes, you could do like safety notes, if there's going to be a safety meeting, stuff like that. Any kind of additional information you'd like to let your crew uh, know, you could put it there. Also, over here is the location with the actual map, and the map is plugged to Google Maps, which is actually really convenient. So whatever, let's just say 99 Queen Street in Toronto. Cool. So... There you go, and it'll automatically move it to Google Maps, um, the address that you need. So that's really handy. Put the date below the call time as well. Forgot to mention that. Now let's go into the scene description. So this is where you describe your scene and your set. So you put, say, scene one, and then you put set two, because maybe there's multiple sets in your scene. Um, and then describe. So you're describing a woman walks down alley cool and then you put the character say the character is mary okay and then you say night or day is it night scene cool and then you say what page or pages if it's a long scene how many pages does this um in the on the script how many pages does this take place in and say it's page 10 and 11 right and you do that for every scene uh, description you put the pages and then at the end you're gonna add the total pages so say this is two pages and then maybe this is page nine and page eight and when you're shooting on a day it could be all over the place like you could be page one and two right and then page if it all takes place in the same you never know whatever the schedule could be right so say that's a total of six pages right also here, you're going to put location notes and the location address. Say the scenes are in different locations. You'd put the address here. Um, now down to cast uh, call times and instructions and all that. So cast, cool. Let's say our cast is Jessica, this actress's name, and then the character is Mary. So Jessica's playing Mary. And say her call time is, let's say it's before a crew call. Say she has to get a lot of makeup done for this scene. So her call time could be 600 or 6 a.m. Um, and then special instructions, if she has any specific, you know, maybe wardrobe that she has to bring in or anything like that with 
requested wardrobe. Okay. A lot of times, I mean, they supply wardrobe, but. Okay, so production notes. Here you can put any kind of additional notes um, you'd like to tell the different departments, right? So if you, have, if you have special instructions for makeup, if you have special instructions for, say, special effects, um, stuff like that, you'd put that there. So like if you if wardrobe for example needed to bring in specific wardrobe for our character mary then you'd put that there okay moving on down to the last section um this is where you would put your basically crew information so uh, as you can tell there's not many rows but what simple call sheet lets you do is you can actually add more rows so you can add as many as you'd like depending on how many people's in your crew so you have a really large crew then you just keep adding them. Uh, if you have a small crew, whatever, then you can only have a few. You can only put a few ro few rows there. Um, that works too. So, for example, let's just fill it out. Producer. I'm just gonna put my name. Why not put the phone number, the email, and you kind of get the point. Call time 800. So, yeah, I mean that's a uh, simple call sheet as actually made it that simple to fill out a call sheet um, so once you fill out all the information that you can and you have um, once that's good you can then click get PDF which then you can download the PDF or send it straight to an email or send it via text um, it's up to you so you either download it and then email it yourself or you can actually email it straight from the website to your team or send it uh, to your team via text if you have their number so there's a few different ways of sending it out which is really neat as well um, but yeah that's pretty much most of it um, it's really like I said before it's a really great tool to fill out you know a very simple call sheet um, if you needed a more advanced call sheet there are other templates out there and just a reminder in the description below, uh, I have attached a call sheet that we like to use specifically for music videos and commercials. So take a look at that if you're not a big fan of this. But honestly, for most productions, this is pretty much all you need. And it's just really easy to use. So I recommend this for sure. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, remember to hit that subscribe button for more content. And I'll check you guys next time.